congratulations, everyone, for Top Gun Maverick. Thank, Thank you. you. So, so tell us what kind of fighter pilot training or school did they, did they put you guys through uh, for a film like this? Tom designed this incredible training course for us, kind of similar to what actual naval aviators go through, um, but you know, condensed for the purposes of this film. We did about 40 hours of flight training. We had to do a bunch of swim training in order to be prepared in the event of a ejection over water. We had to um, um, learn not just all the pilot training, but all of the film training of like, you know, making sure we knew where our light was. Um, <laughs> we had to up in the jet do our own makeup and props and everything. Um, we, we trained in literally everything you can think of. <laughs> yeah. We were tossed, we were dunked, we were, we just got everything. Everything that you could possibly be thrown into, we were thrown into. It was pretty, yeah. it was pretty amazing. Wow. What, what are some of the uh, acting tips you guys got uh, for uh, cockpit uh, acting? I mean, that, I, I felt claustrophobic <laughs> watching <laughs> you guys. <laughs> wow, it's a good question. You, you don't have that much facial real estate to really express what's going on because a lot of what's happening, you're, you're wearing the oxygen mask um, and you've got your visor. And so you really kind of have to do the best with what you got. And this is kind of yeah. what, you, what you've got. So I think there are a lot of points where we watch back the footage and we realized we weren't being really expressive enough and we had to tell the story really through our eyes. So that was a really good challenge. And, and your eyes are definitely the, I mean, they're up there. They're like you got really a lot good. of really great, Everyone but says like, that. Yeah, everyone was saying that. You got some me. solid eyes. <laughs> Very true, though. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no, it was great. I'll tell you, like, one of the craziest things is, like, you, you know, you go up, you fly for an hour and a half, you come down, they take your cards from the cameras, and then all of a sudden you're in a room with about 40 or 50 people who are watching your footage of the flight that you just took an hour before, and it's like start, stop, start, stop, because everyone's like, ah, you see what you did there? That was great. You see what you did there? Never do that again. Like, it's this constant thing of, like, really just tweaking um, performance, tweaking the lighting, tweaking like your props and, and your, your wardrobe and making sure everything was right. And Tom was so specific on all of it. He would go up and do it before we did it. And then we would come down, he'd come down, we'd watch his tape and then he would walk us through and talk us through like every little thing that he did and every detail that he like looked over while he was up in the air. So then by the time we got up in the air, we were locked in and kind of knew what we were doing. Mm -hmm. We had to go through the footage without sound, too. So it'd oh, be like, yeah. what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> We're like, I think that's where I was saying turn and burn. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll find out later. <laughs> so what, what was that experience like um, being up, up in the air? Because, uh, you know, you three experienced something that most of us in, the, in this entire world will never get to experience. I mean, in a lot of ways, it was really helpful as an actor because you didn't have to do that much acting. I mean, all the stimuli was right there, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, in front of you. And so that was extraordinarily helpful and, and really rare. Yeah, I mean, it was actually funny because we trained so hard that we got to a point, like you were saying, like we would watch the footage and then Tom would be like, okay, I know you guys are comfortable now in these jets. Mm -hmm. You need to act the intensity of the scene. Like, don't forget the intensity of the story. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we became really over-prepared and then had to like bring back some of the intensity we experienced in the beginning. Because like you said, like it's just unparalleled. I mean, we never thought we'd be able to do something like this in our lives. I mean, there are people who work on these planes for decades of their lives and they never get to take a ride in these. So that, that wasn't lost on us. It is a bucket list item. Like flying in an <laughs> F-18 at seven, 800 miles an hour is like, it's just all the things coming at you and you're out there like watching it all. And it's just this amazing, especially then when you add in the fact that like we all saw the film at different points in our lives, but like fell in love with naval aviation because of the original. And like mm -hmm. now here you are doing it, it is just, I am jealous of the folks who get to do it as their day job uh, because it is that cool. It is really amazing. It is amazing. Monica, one of the th great things about it is that it's representation and you represent 
female fighter pilots, which a lot of people don't talk about. Could you talk about, uh, um, you know, representing as this character in the film like Top Gun Maverick? I mean, it was a huge honor. I mean, when I watched the first one, I never could have imagined that there would be a space for me as a pilot in in a film like this, let alone the sequel to the first one. Um, and I got to meet some incredible aviators who told me about their experiences, um, you know, being women in, in the military and in, in the aviation world. Um, it's something like 9% of pilots are women, which is still a really, you know, a shockingly low number and the ones you meet are just like really tough but really cool very funny um and and incredible i was just so lucky to get to know them and get to fly with them lou flew with them too um and i think we all experienced that in the briefs like it was something like i mean when they would speak everyone would be quiet and listen and i was like this is great <laughs> like they just have they just hold the room in a way that that was really inspiring so i was just lucky to get to learn and absorb what they did and try to emulate that in this this fil this film is terrific is because for some of us who saw the original film is it's very nostalgic but uh, but i want to say all of you probably were born after the film. Do you remember the first time watching a film like this for Top Gun? I watched it in college. And, and I think I watched it a couple times in high school. And yeah, I just remember, I mean, wanting to put on a pair of blue jeans and Ray-Bans <laughs> <for laughs> after that and <laughs> never changed, never looked back. I'm 722 years older than these guys. <laughs> so uh, I actually saw it for the first time. I was like eight or nine years old uh, living on an Air Force base in Austin, Texas. And that was the first time in a, in a packed theater of a bunch of families who went to go see it on the base theater for the night. And uh, it was absolutely amazing. I mean, you know, I grew up around aircraft and around jets. My dad worked on jets his entire life. And like all of a sudden, like it was on screen and it was just this all, it was just such an amazing thing to watch happen and to see these folks in the audience see themselves on screen was also just like such a, like eye opening and amazing experience. It was, it was awesome. That's wonderful. And um, besides uh, going on the plane, which is, which is a terrific experience, I wanted to talk about the funnest scenes that you guys look like you guys had a lot of fun with your beach football. Could you talk about that? Um, these guys put a lot of hard work, um, passion, a lot of cardio into their bodies, a lot of and a um, lot of baby oil, a lot of, a lot of oils, um, every type of oil, and all the oils, coconut. It smelled wonder. You don't you don't get that when you watch the movie, but it smelled really nice. Grape seed um, until it didn't. There was we've shot for hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was. They, they did, they did a great job. It was a fun scene. I mean, you know, we were all of a sudden like thrown on this beach and told that we were playing offensively and defensively at the exact same time. And everybody was like, wait, what? That's not how the rules of <laughs> yeah, football work. What are we doing? Uh, and then after a while, like you, you kind of catch on to it and you have fun with it and it got competitive and uh, we just really got to have a fun time doing it. Like, I just remember Joe, like, just being behind the camera, like, yeah, let's do that again. That was great. Let's just do it again. Just grinning. Yeah, just grinning. Like, I don't he know if he was loving it or laughing at us or all of the above. Probably both. Yeah, <laughs> probably both. I feel like that might have been, like, the easiest day of directing he had on the film because we were like, yeah, let's play football. Like, let's just go. It was, it was fun. And they were on super long lenses, so it kind of felt like we weren't even filming. It yeah. just felt like a beach day, honestly. Yeah. yeah. That is awesome. Well, this is a lot of fun. Thank you very much for, for speaking to us about Top Gun Maverick. It's, uh, yeah, thank you. High adrenaline. Thank, thank you so thank much, you. man. Love your shirt. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Top Gun Maverick. <laughs>